And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm Just Jewel here, and today I've got the Condor Bush Slicer Sidekick. Yeah, not the Bush Slicer. So, this is obviously named after C. <laughs> obviously. So, I'm going to give you the specs on this one. This fixed blade is 8.5 inches overall. And it's got a 4.25 inch blade made of 1095 high carbon steel. Big surprise. It is condor after all. So it's got a drop point style, flat grind. It's got a black satin finish and of course condor brought us back their hammered finish on this one which I'm excited about. I feel like they they should do it on all of them just because that's like their their icon or their trademark like Spyderco does their thumb hole on all their knives. I feel like Condor should always give us a little bit of the hammered finish. But that's just me. You know. Handle on this one is gray kind of black micarta. I do like this one. I'm not sure if I like it as much as the native hunter that I did on AK Blade episode. It, it's close. I just liked the handle a little more on the native hunter than this one because it was a, a walnut wood and it had liners and it had the jimping put through the back. But I feel like this one could also be extremely useful as well, like the Native Hunter. Some people like a more, you know, simple design. That's that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. So probably like a mid-sized cutter cuts well, grim carta handles, scales uh, that clothe the knife's full tang. Classic condor, black and satin. And it does come with a sheath, not leather, but it is a gray kydex with a leather like mounting or belt loop on the back here. I'll show for those who care. No sheath shimmy on this one. And I do like that they gave us this lip again. I don't know if I stressed this enough in the last uh, couple of Condor reviews I did where it has this little lip on the sheath where you can just push it off, eject it off like that. I mean, I love that. I love that they put that on there. That's my other favorite thing from Condor, other than their hammered finishing, is this lip on this sheath. I do like their leather ones more because they just look prettier, but this one's probably more practical. I'm not sure uh, what the life is on a kydex versus a leather. I guess it just depends on how often you use it and if you drop the kydex one or not. So, um, very different, I have to say, from the Bush Slicer. If you guys haven't seen the Bush Slicer uh, review I did, check it out in the corner. Because that one was way bigger than this one. And it was like a, a rounded cleaver, almost. Kind of like a, a smaller version of Topps' XX Dicer. This one, I feel like they shouldn't have even put Bush Slicer in there. Yes, it has the similar materials. It's got the same type of uh, blade material and um, finishing. And it does have black micarta handle, but other than that, I don't see any resemblance at all. I mean, you could use these two in a pair, but I feel like you would probably just use this one for the tasks you could have used the other one for. But you know what? It it really doesn't matter. I mean, if you liked the bush slicer and liked, the, I mean, I like it too. I just feel like they didn't have to go and like pair them together. They seem like two totally different knives to me. But they do come with Condor stickers. Which, if you guys know me, I'm a big fan of stickers. So, I like that they give you the stickers on these. So, this was designed by Julio Diaz. All of it was made in El Salvador. So, you know exactly where your tool's coming from. It could be used as a paring knife, a fire starting tool... It also excels at smaller, finer tasks. They didn't give you any jimping to do any precision cutting, which I feel like they could have just put a little. I mean, it's not going to impede your ability to, to precision cut, but I would have liked a little jimping. Just a little. You didn't have to go crazy. And this sheath is very similar to the ones from the original Bush Slicer. And I think one other knife they did, I can't remember right now, but it's got this lip. It's very similar to this one and the Bush Slicer one. So I guess I could see some of the continuity they carried from the Bush Slicer to the Bush Slicer sidekick.
So if you're loving this knife, you can always uh, take a look at more of our other Condor reviews. We did a whole Condor brand spotlight where we went over Condor's brand, their background, and the most popular knives. You can check that out. We also have tons of five minute reviews, quick minute previews. We also do our AK Blade show every Friday. It's where me and my co host see, you know, we go over the newest knives and gear. We would like to start doing some more like survival stuff, like, you know, showing camping stuff, you know, sleeping bags, tents, ponchos, all that other stuff. We'll see how that goes though. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, all of those. We post pictures and the reviews and sales and giveaways, so make sure to check us out on there. So, I am Just Jewel with Atlantic Knife. This was the Condor Bush Slicer Sidekick, and I am signing off. <laughs>